Or how did you feel when T.I. redone that song? T.I.P. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You know, I, I gotta ask you about, because uh, I don't know if anybody else asked you about it. How did you feel when you heard, because you, I never heard your take on this, and you might have said it somewhere. How did you feel when T.I. redone that song? T.I.P. Um, I like T.I. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I love his music. So when you heard it, you was locked up still? I got a 66 bottle so fresh, white top, bird drop, with the brick on deck. I don't know. I don't know where I was. I know that regardless of where I was, he operas, he presented me an opportunity to get a check. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just That's saying. That's real. Like whatever he did, I, I, you know, they sent me a check for it, like for wow. real, because like it was a rendition of the original song. So I have some publishing in that. Still working on the publishing for the um, Ryan Dirty the skit, the Ryan Dirty skits. Yeah, still haven't gotten that yet, but yeah, of course. And then, like I say, it makes it all the better, man. When you got somebody that you respect, and then you're a hell of an MC. He I got a 66 bottle so fresh, white top, bird drop, with the book on deck. Definitely a hell of a MC. So when I, when you when you I'm heard it, it, did you hear it with Pimp Nim on there already? Because I think it, it was before Pimp had got out that he had did a version of it. I think when Pimp came home, he added his verse to it, if I remember correctly. Oh, man, you I'm going to be honest with you, bro. You know more than that than I do. <laughs> I, I was, uh, yeah, I you were locked up. No, I, was, I probably wasn't locked up, but, like, life keep life. Life. And I've I well, been really living a real life. I don't, you know, I, I respect everybody and everything, but the responsibility of my reality and my life is up to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I went to T.I. Spot, you know, seen him watch this comedy show, man. I'm like, damn. You know, and I was looking like it was confused. I've learned there's a lot of growth, a lot to learn, but not a lot of money for a new comedian. But not confusing. Like, yeah. Nigga, I went to. Like the fuck? T.I. is one of the, you know, and I, I respect his street. Like, I know he knows something when he's talking. So, and then, like, for me, getting out, I'm looking, I'm like, damn, he doing comedy. A new comedian, you know what I'm saying? I never knew, you know, it was, you know, tight like that. You know, and, and I had to stop and think because this man is opening up and unlocking and exploring other sides of himself, something he ain't ashamed about. It, That's real. You know? But then, like, going in there, I'm sitting in there, we sit across from each other, he opened me with Welcome on. I ordered some damn. Um, chicken wing, hot wing, man. Yeah, man. That's, you know, I, I feel like I need to get up and get on my hustle. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. I ate them chicken wings. Bro, them mother were like, them mother were like pigeons. You know what I mean? I paid yes. like $40 for like six pigeons. <laughs> I sit there, I said, man, damn. I need to get up and get on my job. This man here selling, you know, he got his drink, got to come. I mean, the whole club and to come from rap and do that, bro. Yeah, that's hard. That's that's so dope, man. Like I said, but to be you, you, you don't, you never know who you influencing either. That song, y'all's way, you dealing with them. All this stuff is collectively together. You gotta understand, yeah. and that helped influence uh, Southern hip hop for sure. But not only that, there's people on the but East Coast and the West Coast that love what it. Guys doing man, these guys into real estate. Mm -hmm. They buying back their neighborhood. Yeah, shout out to Mike Epps. He yeah, bought a whole yeah, neighborhood. Shout out, yeah, man. So it's these kind of things. But the difference is, is that the people that are successful, they, 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 they. they some most of them. They don't have, they lose the connection with like, you can't help everybody unless you with everybody. Everybody can help everybody. It's just a form of communication because we all are akin to each other in a way. You see, mm -hmm. and you look at the stage and the plight of like, you know, our children today. And I'm speaking in the, in, to black men in general. You know, black men don't have a platform to where they can sit down and commiserate with each other and really get the iron to sharpen the iron because everybody... You know, everywhere and nowhere at the same time. It's about mm. communication. So wow. Yeah. yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.